Hey guys, welcome to Crypto Command. Today I wanted to share the progress that I have made using Hashflare as a cloud mining service. So I mentioned that Hashflare had a Black Friday sale in a recent video, but they have kept their contracts on sale throughout what they've called Cyber Week. So ever since Cyber Monday, their contracts have been on sale. So I've been trying to buy some SHA-256 contracts during that time. And so today I'm going to show you what the profitability looks like based on the contracts that I have purchased. So just so you know, through December 4th, um, the SHA-256 cloud mining contracts are 5% off. Uh, script cloud mining is also discounted. Uh, I have been purchasing SHA-256, and if we go to my dashboard on Hashflare, you can see that I now have 11.16 terahash. So, this has become a nice form of passive income for me. So what you can see is that now with 11.16, I just purchased 2.4 terahash today. And so all my information on the dashboard is not fully up to date. So really the numbers are reflective around 8.5 terahash. But currently what Hashflare is projecting is that I will make $17.34 a day. That's $121 a week um, or $520 a month or $6,300 in a year. So if we take a look at what it has cost to purchase this, we can go into buy hash rate and you can see that even if we look at the 11.16, let's just call it 11, that costs $1,540 or 0.135 BTC. And my current payout is expected to be $6,327. And I'm actually expecting that to go up once the, the numbers are estimated for the new contract that I just purchased. So that is a really nice return. But one thing to factor in is that the numbers that are reported on the Hashflare dashboard do not reflect any maintenance fees or pool fees that are part of this. So if we actually look, let's go back to the dashboard. This will, will tell us um, on the BTC balance. So the balance is what's currently paid out to me from my mining contracts. It will also report what the last payout actually was. So if we take a look right here at what the revenue per one terahash should be, um, you will see that that was expected to be um, 0 0.0001742 BTC or 17,000 Satoshis. Um, and that is what actually gets paid out is slightly lower than what is projected in the revenue forecast. And the reason for this is that the revenue forecast does not actually include the pool mining fees. So if, you, if you're really interested in getting into Hashflare, it is important to actually consider what the profitability would look like. So you should still use a mining calculator like you would find on coin wars so here we can put in the hash rate um, let's just say i have 11 um, 11 000 giga hash or my 11 tera hash we're not paying for any power that's the nice aspect of cloud mining so we're also paying no power cost the pool fees are currently about 20 percent this is not something that that hashflare is is hiding in any way if you go to their faq page you can see maintenance and electricity fees they put here um, the amount that you're actually paying per 10 giga hash they have this they update this on their faqs so that's all uh very clear and spelled out within their website, um, but it works out to about 20% based on the pool fee. For the current uh, price of BTC, this is what we are looking at. 
And so if we go back to what this amount has cost me, um, again, let's just, we're going to round this to 11. That was 1,540 USD. So let's put that as our hardware costs and calculate what we expect the profitability to be based on the coin wars calculation. So let's check that out. And this is awesome right now, guys. The days to break even 78.5. So here, um, this is factoring in my most recent contract. Annually, the payout is $7,160. So for an initial investment of $1,540, I'm, ex I'm expecting to earn $7,160. One thing to keep in mind with Hashflare is that these contracts do only last for one year. This is different than Genesis Mining, where a Bitcoin mining contract lasts indefinitely as long as mining is profitable. But here, where you have days to break even at right under three months right now, even if that the, the difficulty changes, um, you are definitely going to be making a pure profit on this for months. And so this is a really nice way to be making a passive income, which is... Uh, the, the way that I'm looking at this, this is a nice way to diversify from just investing your money into coins. So one other thing that I wanted to point out here that I am currently trying to explore, I would love to know if any of you have looked at this. Um, if you go into the pools within Hashflare, the allocation of your SHA-256 mining is actually split among different pools and you can change this allocation in different ways. So currently this is basically split as the three different pools that are in here, each is getting a third. Um, but I'm, I'm going to look into this more and see if any of these pools have been more profitable um, in, in any sort of predictive way and possibly change this allocation to optimize it more and I will report back on that. But if any of you have, have looked into that, please let me know in the comments below. The other thing I wanted to mention within Hashflare is that my current goal is to get to 100 terahash within Hashflare. And so one of the best ways to do this is you will see that this line on your dashboard reports how much Bitcoin is going into your wallet. And so at this point, you'll see that the line drops back down. And that is because what I am currently doing, since I want to increase the total amount of terahashes that I have within my mining, I have now set everything to automatically reinvest. So as soon as I have new BTC to invest, that's going straight back into new contracts. So this will dip back down. The blue bars, the, the lighter bars in the background, that is the amount that I am getting paid out every day. So you'll see that these number, these bars are getting larger over time. And that is because here I, I, I purchase new contracts uh, pretty much daily. Um, and, and now tomorrow my, my bar will be higher uh, because I just purchased a new contract. So that's the, the information that you receive from the platform. Um, if you haven't checked out Hashflare yet, this is a great way to get into SHA-256 cloud mining. Unfortunately, I don't have a discount code to share with you if you want to purchase a contract on here, but you can get started with just a few dollars. Uh, they will let you purchase as little as uh, 10 gigahash, and you can up that if with less than $100. Uh, for, for any of these amounts, um, less than one terahash. So that's a, a nice way if you just want to get familiar with the platform. If you haven't signed up with the platform already, there is an affiliate link in the description below. Uh, it doesn't cost you anything to use that. Um, so that's a, a quick way to, to get started with the platform. I hope this video was helpful to you guys. I think this is going to be a, a great way to, to diversify building a uh, a passive income. So thanks for watching as always. Appreciate all of you who have liked the videos and subscribed to the channel. And as always, thanks for watching Crypto Command.